everyone, my name is Jaybird, and welcome back to Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. My dog is being annoying for some reason. What? 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 She's being a butt. Oh my god, I think I need to feed her. That's probably it. Stared at me, but anyways, anyways, we're going to load the game. His name is Pastille, right? Pastille. Where's our candy friend? Dunno. Sai, did you lose her in town? Maybe, why do you care? That's awful, we have to find her. You have fun with that. I know you don't like her, but isn't this a little mean? Even for you? Well, she's not my responsibility. If you didn't want her to get lost, you should have kept her inside. I didn't think you'd just leave her somewhere. Why are you getting so worked up over candy? She's a person! I'm going to look for her. Ugh. Yeah, he's right. Pastille, wait up! Pastille and Syrup wander the town in search of their sweet golem, finding it to be a little difficult to call out to someone who hadn't yet been given a name. Their search soon stretches into the woods, home to rest, to rest, recluse, recluse, recluse witches and the occasional monster. Near Butterscotch's cottage. Hey, candy girl! You around here? With that level of enthusiasm, she's sure to come running. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm trying here! Hey, is that her? Shut up and Master Pastille appeared! You're okay! We were worried. What are you What are you doing all the way out here? I am lost! Well, now you're found. Let's go home, okay? Well, home is Syrup! Well, that sounds wonderful! I'm just glad something didn't eat you up. Rats, and I was so close to luring her from shed. Yeah. How cute. And so the golem started living with syrup and pastille at Altier Atelier Sweets. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel, jelly, something. Hmm, no. You'll think of something. I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to candy golems aren't pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her candy weirdo. Technically you could. No, we really should give you a, pr a proper name. How about Gumdrop? Gumdrop, it's a nice name. I think she likes it. Yes, if I knew it was syrup, she would pick something good. Oh my god, milk chocolate and dark chocolate, oh my god. Hello, hello, the chocolate brothers are making their entrance. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to start to pop in. Hello! Welcome to Altaria Sweets! Oh, Candy... Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now. How charming. But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Must you've found a way to create life through your alchemy? She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. 
Ew, mysterious. I am completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, milady? Oh, God. Magic flowers? You are very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not buzz around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store. I'll do what I want. Hmm, would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She's quite adorable. She's not for sale. How much are we talking? Uh, she's not for sale. You can buy an, any other candy in here, but this one's mine. Syrup, I am delighted that you think of me as yours. Don't take it the wrong way. You just work here. You just work for me. You, your looks are good for business. What a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, no! It is a very high-level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything close to that. I'm... <clears throat> I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Well, well, we'll just have to give it a go sometime then. Hmm? Now I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that. Allow me to assist you at the register. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whatever keeps com whatever keeps customers happy, though. Hey, Pastille, is it true not just any old witch can make a golem? Huh? Well, you don't see very man m many walking around, so that sounds about right. Hmm. Penny, for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. When we found Gumdrop wandering near her cottage, I took it as proof they're in cahoots somehow. But now I'm starting to think it might have been a coincidence. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? N no Ask her to tell you who her creator is. Since she won't tell me, you're my only hope, dude. Oh, I already asked that when I was training her for work. No luck there. Sorry. Ugh, I'll drag it out of her somewhere or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Yeah, I was planning on leaving, working with you, sup supervising Gumdrop. Um, uh, I guess... I guess supervising Gumdrop. Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop! Do you need something, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I am interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it is done? So you can steal my recipes? Not at all! I only thought it would make a nice bonding experience. But if you do not wish... But if you do not wish to... Nah, I guess I don't mind. Just know I've gotten my eye on you. I'm definitely gonna find out what your deal is. Bonding with Zero Pazaw! Huh, <sighs> alright. Well, you two have fun. <clears throat> How long have I been recording for? Oh, eight minutes. Then after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is a, is a secret ingredient? How fun! There's no secret ingredients. It's just regular hard candy. It is still exciting. What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out, add some citric acid and color, and make it into whatever shape you want before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part here. When the batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Mmm. Ba da 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 da! Does singing to the candy make it taste better? I will join you! <laughs> no, singing has nothing to do with it. That's just kind of a habit I have since usually no one's down here with me. I think your candies appreciate it anyway. That's enough rolling! 
Let's get, let's wait for them to cool off. It should be ready to go now. Here, try it. Actually, wait, would eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made with the ability to chase things, so I will pass. Hmm. Uh, what other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I am also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some ma major sensory experiences, Gumdrop. I so so do not feel pain, so being a candy person does have its advantages. Hmm. I guess it's just a matter of perspective then, huh? So why would you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was it just to spy on me after all? I did enjoy it. Now I now have a better understanding of where I came from. I didn't make you though. Well, still! But maybe your parts were actually made by me? Well, that witch does buy enough candy from me, so it's definitely possible. If you would like to know for sure, you could always try a bite. Trying to trick me into eating you again? That's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of. What I really want to know is who put you together. I cannot tell you that. I am sorry. Figures. We're done here. Give that tray of candies to Pastille. I'm going out for a while. Syrup. Oops. It came out. Oh. I think I'm going to leave it off here. I think uh, 11 minutes is good enough. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this and would like to see more of this game, then leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring that notification bell. And remember, die safely. Bye-bye.